This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial how to merge stuff together using the merge, cbind, rbind, and rbind.fill functions in R. Let's recreate two tables. Table 1 and Table 2. Now we're going to use the merge function. The first parameter is the first table we want to merge. The second parameter is the second table we want to merge. The by.x parameter is the name of the first merge column, and the by.y parameter is the name of the second merge column. If the names of the two merge columns are the same, you can, instead of by.x and by.y, just use the by parameter. And that's going to create the same result. Here's z. Notice that z is only two records, because there's no match for c here in d, and there's no match for d here in c. If you want to keep all of the records regardless of a match, use the all equals t parameter, and now z is four records instead of two. Notice that it kept c even though there was a missing for column three, and it kept d even though there was a missing for column two. If you want to do a right join or a left join, that is, keep all of the records from the left table, use all.x equals true, and here's what z looks like. If you want to do a right join, use all.y equals true, and that will keep all of the records from the second table. Here's what z looks like in that case. All.x and all.y keep all of the non-matching rows from one of the tables, but not the non-matching rows from the other table. You can also bind columns together without any merge variables. Notice that this only works if the number of rows in the two tables are the same. That's the cbind function. You can also stack tables together using the rbind function. Well, this didn't work. That's because they have different column names, column 2 and column 3 from table 1 and table 2. Let's make table 3, which has the exact same column names as table 1. Stack table 1 on top of table 3, and now it looks like this. If you want to stack two tables on top of each other but don't care if they have all of the exact same columns, install the reshape package and load it with the library command. Then you can use the rbind.fill function, which doesn't care if the columns match. It just leaves the missing columns blank. Spectacular. This has been a work of R.